me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing a random look yet again. <laughs> this video kind of turned out to be like a get ready with me slash doing my makeup and hair slash fall look. But as I was going, I wanted it to be a little bit more different than like your average orangey brownie kind of looks, which I think we accomplished. I feel like this is a fall look that's not pulled one way or another, if that makes sense, it's kind of different. If this look and this hair is something that you're interested in, then please continue to watch. <laughs> All right, so I basically have my eyebrows on already. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I have no clue what I'm doing today. <laughs> I know I wanna do a fall look and I know I wanna use the Pat McGrath um, Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. Before we even get into that, I'm like, what am I gonna do with my hair? I'm all over the place today. <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, at least with my hair, is... <laughs> This looks crazy. This wash and go was like two weeks ago, <laughs> but it has lasted me in a lot of areas. Like as you can see, it's still pretty defined. It's still shiny, but the front is like the biggest problem. Um, or do I want to up it? Do I want to put it in a, I mean, I look 12, but it's still cute. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to just take some and put it up top. My hair has been growing a whole lot. And I'm really, really happy about it, but I'm also at the point where I don't know what to do with it anymore. I was gonna get braids, but I lightweight don't trust anybody to do my hair. <laughs> um, I do wanna do an updated wash and go routine simply because, like I said, this wash and go lasted me a good amount of time. So I'm gonna pull the half in the back put that in a ponytail for now and we'll just work with this top section I'm gonna take my gel and by the way everything I'm gonna be using in this video is gonna be in the description box below per usual including everything I'm using for my hair like when I put my hair up in a ponytail how it kind of snatches the eyes up and makes like everything lifted but I hate putting my hair in a ponytail because like my edges <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Fenty eye primer although I already have like concealer on my eyes I'm just gonna dab this on top just for a little bit more sticky a little bit more hold I want this look to be like super saturated we're gonna blend and take out all of those lines yep that's better all right so you guys are zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing all right so as I said we're gonna be using the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity palette and ignore how dirty this palette is but we're gonna go into the shade major mahogany I think I'm gonna start off doing rounded and then we'll see if I want to bring it up into a wing or not but essentially I'm gonna take it into this crease right here then I have a big wide fluffy brush and so that gets into the crease but it's also getting a little bit above it so that when I'm looking directly at you you can see it I like to do it just like that go back and forth into that crease and like I said, I do want this to be a super saturated look. I am gonna go back and blend out those edges a little bit more, but I want the pigment down first. And now the beauty of doing it like this and really getting into your crease and getting above the crease is you can literally follow like your natural curve. And now granted, I know it probably looks a lot more um, <laughs> harsh when I'm doing it, but it's still very light that I'm kind of pushing this in. So it's not hurting me in any way. I'm still working back and forth, but I'm just kind of blending out the edge of that harshness with the soft circle. Another thing that you can do is take a really, really thin fluffy brush. I'm gonna do a little bit of this color right here. I think this is Venetian Orchid. So I did tap off, I just want a little bit of this pigment. This is gonna allow me to be a little bit more precise. I'm gonna loosen up on the actual brush and I'm just gonna go right over the top of that. Again, you could do soft circles if that's what helps like this. Or you could go back and forth if that's better for you. But it'll sort of lighten out the edge of that color. I still want it to be close to that crease, so I'm not gonna bring this up too much higher, like up here. 
I'm trying to leave it as low as I can on it. I'm trying to decide if I want to go in with like that burgundy because I don't want it to be too purple, but it kind of already looks purple, right? We're gonna take this shade right here, which is Smoked Amethyst, and I'm gonna sort of place that at the edge right here, which is gonna darken as you can see, but it's also adding that purple dark shimmer, which I love that, and we're gonna sort of blend those in together with the top shade that we put in our crease. Pull it out just a little bit, but that's gonna go in just like that. And we're also gonna take that shade and put it literally right here in that inner corner. Not the inner corner, inner lid space. Then I'm gonna go back into that brush that I had initially. I'm not gonna add any more product just yet, but I do wanna take it and just blend. So for the next shades, I'm thinking to do like a, a little bit more on the edge and then put the gold right in the middle. And I'm in between these two shades. I think this one is obvious, but the red will be kind of fun. I think I'm gonna go with the red and then we'll backtrack if it doesn't work. Saturnalia, boom, we're gonna take that one. And we're gonna go, I think, yeah put that right on the side. When I do put shades together, a lot of times I'm trying to think about what's the most common thing to do and then sort of do the opposite. So that sort of purpley fuchsia shade would have really made sense here, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And now don't get me wrong, sometimes I'll do the obvious um, just because it's easier, it, it, it still looks pretty. But a lot of times for me, I just feel like I wanna do something that's just not done a lot, which purple and red, I don't know that they're done that often. Does that make sense? One of the things I really, really like about this palette is it just feels like everything at some point just seems together so easily, even if the colors don't go together that well. Like, I really enjoy that. We're actually gonna take Galactic Gold. This one has like a green tinge to it, just slightly. And I'm just gonna use my finger and hopefully this works because I do have nails on today. Oh, that's so fun. Let's say I wanted to sharpen it up a little bit. I could take a white and just kind of move it just like that to sharpen. You can take your concealer and sharpen it. And then I can sort of use that guideline as my wing. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I hope everything that I'm saying today makes sense. <laughs> I love how I tried to do like a super pigmented look with this shirt on. I should know better at this point. I have damaged many a shirt. I don't wanna drag it out too much because I kinda want the halo to be the flex of the eye, if that makes sense. And I think what we're gonna do is just sort of bring that dark purple underneath with like a black liner. Ooh, or should I do red? See, now I'm doing stuff. Never mind. Let me go ahead and do my other eye. <laughs> and then we'll come back and do the face. <laughs> what are we doing with the face today? All right, so let's try I'm gonna go in with my No Pore Bloom Primer. You know one primer that I love that I have not repurchased and I really need to get it is the um, Murad. I used to talk about it all the time. I think it's called Invisibler or something like that, but that one used to be my favorite. I would use it all the time. One, it has SPF in it, but also like the Pore Fillage, that primer is perfection, but it's also like $60. So I haven't repurchased it, but I need to go get that again. I really, really love that primer. So today I'm gonna go in with the Smith & Colt Veiled Thread. I have a video on this from years ago. I don't even remember when I did this and I'm pretty sure like this is another foundation that I really really liked because I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath concealer so I'm gonna use this foundation to sort of cover up use it kind of like a color corrector that kind of gives me a little bit of coverage underneath so that when I go in with my Pat McGrath concealer it'll still like cover up what I need it to and highlight the way I need it to I'm gonna be honest like I really don't know what I was thinking about wearing a white turtleneck I don't even like turtlenecks this is the only fall clothes I have you know how fall is like really orangey really bronzy really Really, you know yellows and browns and all those pretty colors but like I typically wear white black ivory cream <laughs> Maybe a little bit of tan here and there, but the truth is I don't do a lot of like actual color in my wardrobe. I've been working out a lot lately, so I'm gonna try to like get a whole new situation of clothes. Speaking of working out, so like <laughs> I definitely like can see results lately and I'm pretty happy about that. Just not in the areas that I thought I would. It's like I'm over here like doing squats and stuff and working out my stomach and I see my butt getting bigger. <laughs> for some reason and I'm not mad about it like I like the gains or whatever and I like like the curve that it's giving my back like I love how my body's starting to kind of form but none of my clothes fit <laughs> I'm not complaining but I do think I need to get like an entire new wardrobe and with that I do need like a little bit of color I suppose <laughs> So 
I'm gonna use my Fenty bronzer to bronze up the face. I've hit pan on this one, so I gotta go back and get some more. I think I'm gonna take my um, contour brush and sort of dabble it a little bit. I don't really feel like contouring, but I do need to do something so that it looks like, I don't know, I have a nose and that it's not like super flat. And then I'm gonna take my bronzer brush, again, no extra product, and go over that just a little. Okay, so this blush is from Black Radiance. This is Warm Berry, and as you can see, it's very rich for my skin tone, but I do love the color, like the undertone. So, we're gonna be very light-handed with this. <laughs> Hopefully not ruin the look. Before we pick the highlighter, I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the eye look. So let me go ahead and sharpen up my Artist Color Pencil. This is the black one, of course. All right, so we're gonna tight line here so we make sure there's no gaps when we put on our lashes. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it on the lower lash line as well. And when I say lower lash line, I meant waterline, my bad. You see how easily that goes on? I love this pencil. When I do smoky eye looks and like use the black liner, I feel like it does close the eye up a little bit, but also it helps with my mascara and kind of making my lashes on the bottom look like I actually have lashes. But also it gives like this smoky, like tighter eye look, if that makes sense. I don't know, I just love that. So I'm gonna actually take this shade and bring it on the lower lash line and keep it close to the actual um, water line. I don't think I wanna blow this out a lot yet. I kind of want to match this color that we created up here that has a little bit more reddish pink to it. So I'm going to take that mahogany color, add that as well, sort of match it up a little bit more. And we're still trying to stay close to it. We're not done yet. Now I'm going to take that pink shade. It's essentially what we did in the crease. Now I'm going to take that pink shade and sort of blend out the edge on that. All right, so we're going to go in with the Dior, what is this, Glitz palette? Whatever. In the description box, no. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna go in with this one and I feel like I wanna kinda aim towards that color but it might be a little bit too stark on my skin especially cause we went a little tanner with the foundation today. So I'm gonna kinda mix it all up but have the emphasis be on this color, if that makes sense. Uh, I want it golder. I feel like since we already started with it and I, I just, we're just gonna keep going with it and then we'll kind of buff it in hopefully and it'll make it look a little better. Let's see if I can take that shade out of the Dior palette and really like focus it. Hey now, there we are. Doing something with it, all right. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with the Raquel Beauty Lashes. These are in Saluna. I feel like it kind of gives that wing look that we have going on, but they are a little bit on the lighter side. They're not super duper heavy, so it's not gonna take away from the actual eye look that we have going on. So I'm gonna put that on and then add mascara. All right, before I spray, I'm gonna pull this <laughs> back down on my baby hairs because as soon as that spray hits them, it's gonna curl right back up. This is Juvia's Place Lux Liner in brownie. We're gonna try some stuff and see if it's the color that I want it to be. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> All right, so then I'm gonna take Uncuffed from Fenty and I'm gonna put that very, very, very close to that lip line because I kind of want this to be mostly nude but have like a hint of darkness in it. You could actually probably stop there, that's actually kind of dope. But I'm gonna take Unbutton and put that in the center. All right guys, so this is the final look with the hair and the makeup all done. I love how smoky it is. I love that it's winged out, but not too much. Like I love how this makeup came together. I had a lot of fun doing this video, so I'm gonna try to bring you guys a little bit more hair, makeup, get ready with me. But yeah, I hope this look was like fun, entertaining, inspiring, all that great stuff. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video if it's in your heart to do so, and I'll see you guys in the next one.